anyone's expectations, Christine, you served as the Kingdom Center Shelter to Dallas. You dealt with very difficult situations, and you did that with grace. <coughs> we thank you for your service, and we would release you from the oath that you gave to us. Under. Three cheers for the outgoing Seneschal, Mr. Christine. Hip, hip. Huzzah! Hip, hip. Huzzah! Huzzah! well as true servants and counsel. It is our will to confirm you into the Seneschal's office if you will swear to serve us well and faithfully. Bring forth lightning. This day do I swear to serve the crown and kingdom of the outland. To uphold the laws of this land and to render faithful service to your majesty and to your subjects, that the outland may prosper. This do I swear upon the sword and upon my honor. So say I. Aishi, al Rumayana. We accept your oath and pledge to you that we will support your office and honor your service as you minister in our names. Be ever mindful that you serve us best by serving the needs of all of our people. Three cheers for the new Seneschal of the Outland. Hip, hip. Huzzah! Hip, hip. Huzzah!
from a shire down south called Maroon Cabaroon. Um, we recently had a member, uh, a very dear member of ours, uh, diagnosed with appendix cancer. Um, and we are hosting a tourney today at 2 after the melees uh, to raise money for to help him and his wife during this time um, with medical expenses. The tourney is going to be a heavy tournament. It'll be a bear pit style. Four rounds. Uh, eight rounds. Uh, the first one, sword board. Second one, dual weapons. Third one, great weapons. And the fourth one is dealer's choice. It's five bucks to get in. If you want any additional lives, you can purchase uh, them for a dollar. The five dollars will get you four lives in each of the rounds. Anything else to some of you might know this individual. His name <coughs> is Lord Siegfried. He is a young man. He's just 28. Yeah, he's around, he's around 28 years old. And many people know him because he goes pros every war he goes to is one of our combat archery. And he pushed it on the internet. And he's a really big proponent for all of this. And the appendix cancers led to him having to have a full colonoscopy uh, and chemotherapy at this point. So any aid that we can give him and his lady would be greatly appreciated, and we thank you all. Huzzah. 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 Their Majesty's call. Count Matthias Alexandra Kaska. <coughs> or a representative. Some Matthias. <coughs> Costco was not able to make it. It is nearing the end of our reign, and so we would wish to not fill the backlog. Costco is a gentleman who possesses <coughs> all of the virtues in everything he does, in everywhere he goes. He's an artisan, and he's a servant. <coughs> All the ideas of chivalry. <coughs> and when we look for an example of chivalry and of gallantry, we look to Count Costa. And so today, we would admit him into the Order of the Legion of Gallantry. Anyone who has ever spoken to Casca knows that he speaks with such passion that he imbues his listeners with it. It is powerful to speak on him, speak with him on any matter. Read the scroll, please. Let it be known to all that we, Bardolf and Sabiha, King and Queen of these fair outlands, send greetings. Wherefore we, by our own certain knowledge, are mindful that Matthias Alexander of Kaska has long conducted himself in an honorable and courteous fashion, and in all ways has borne himself worthily. We are pleased to recognize him as a member of the Legion of Gallantry. Huzzah. May he continue to conduct himself as befits a member of this order, whose courtesy shines forth as a star in the heavens. In witness whereof we have set our heads this 27th day of May, on Society Trotter 58, being... 2023 in the common era. Bardock, King, Sabiha, Queen. The scroll will be here soon. And will be sent to him. Thank you, Grace. For Casca, hip hip. Huzzah! 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 Now let Banjana, Granya, O'Hare come before their majesties. who don't always communicate so well. <laughs> Not only is she a servant, 
servant uh, in a very visual, nerve-wracking and difficult <coughs> position. She's also an artisan, and she's a teacher. You bring a well-rounded set of skills to our community. And we know you as a person that uses those skills to benefit others, and not only yourself. Working with you during this rain has been quite pleasurable. You're graceful. You listen. You communicate. These are all skills that we look for when we think of recognizing individuals. And much like we spoke about last night, we have orders that are very specific for certain things. But we can also give grant of arms for all things. No. <laughs> Unto all who come by these letters, do we, Bardolf and Sabiha, King and Queen of the Outlands, send greetings. Know all men by these presents that Granny O'Hare has served our kingdom most outstandingly and does greatly deserve reward. It is thus our pleasure to recognize her with a grant of arms. Oh, 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 oh. We further the rights and charge her with the responsibilities of the state. We further charge Granya to consult with ourselves. She already has arms, sorry. <laughs> In witness whereof, we set our sign on this 27th day of May, on a society 58, being 2023 Gregorian. Bardolf, King, Sabiha, Queen. The work, the scroll is the work of Mistress Amanya and will be here shortly. Uh, 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 uh,
Oleg, have you undertaken to accept the accolade of knighthood that was offered to you at the War of the Phoenix? This pleases us greatly. Bring forth the chain. I can make it if you want. Yes, I have words for this in a minute. Wrong chain. Right here. This chain has passed from night to night throughout the ages in our kingdom. Let it now pass from night to night once again. Sir Roland, Master Tariq, Mr. Zamania, Maya St. Carlos, Master Adam, who speaks for Viscount Beryl. As members of the peerage, do you now affirm that Oleg has grown in gentle virtue and chivalrous grace, the hallmark of a true and faithful peer? Majesties, thank you for allowing me to speak for this candidate of today. The thing you do is not anything small. This man has had a long journey, and I find him to be quite acceptable. I met him many, many years ago on the fields of Australia War, where he in feats of prowess, he defeated all comers and became a champion and was awarded a fine helmet for all his efforts. <laughs> I've watched him grow on the path of chivalry. He has a humble grace that inspires me and many others. He is always first to help, always first to lend aid always there to do what is right and what is needed. I've watched him gain prowess, best those that would come against him, defend this kingdom against your enemy. But he has also given good service, and he has been a great supporter of the arts, not only in the things that he makes himself, but in supporting his lovely wife, who is an extremely talented artist. And they together do many great things that enrich our room. It is my great honor to stand before this court and company today and endorse this coming on behalf of the Order of Chivalry, for we have discussed and we find him most worthy and what you do today is right and just. Thank you, you may. <laughs> Majesties, Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, and all those gathered today, I speak on behalf of my order for this young man. Oleg was literally born into this society. He has lived a great life amongst us as he grew. As he grew. Uh, although his primary focus is the arts of war, he is an artist by his own right. Uh, the things that he makes are handmade and beautiful. He was a very talented chess player. Anyone here should play him when they have a chance. But most important to me and to my order is this man is a patron of the arts and a supporter of the arts. In particular, he supports his lovely wife through all that she that she does. He's always by her side always there for her. <coughs> and for this, Your Majesties, and all together, we, the Order of the Lord, feel that he is most deserving of his recognition that you wish to give him today. Your Majesties, assembled friends, nobles here gathered, so many people refer to the SBA as their chosen family, and I stand here and tell you that this man is indeed my family. I've known Oleg as long as we've both been friends since we were children. 
We often talk about second generation players. Many of us here are those. Oh, is even more unique that he is the third generation player. I grew up with his family, a clan full of warriors, amazing artisans, and true servants of his dad. And as many know, feral as only children of the Southern Shires could be. <laughs> <laughs> All that said, we have grown up, and Oleg is a worthy scion of his life. He embodies all of the aspects and all of the ideals we would hope for in a night. But today I speak on behalf of the Order of the Pelican, and I would tell you of his service. Oleg has been the night marshal for Nehru and Keberin for many years. In addition to the needs of his office, he helps facilitate space. For Shire activities on behalf of his fellow officers, he stewarded events, helping to continue the amazing lives of popular and well-remembered events such as Clan Wars and Siege of the City down in the South. Beyond this formal service, Oleg is an amazing advocate, both within and without the Shire. Through his travels and his knowledge of people and groups in the outlook, he helps those in need make connections to further themselves, whether it's to fight someone new in practice, to find help in a neighboring group, or to meet up and learn new things with each other. Your Majesties, on behalf of the Pelican, gloriously <coughs> commend his man for elevation. He is a knight in every sense. And with all my love, I welcome my brother too. Uh, Domina, Red Lord, Red Lady, Excellencies, Good Gentles, all, I today speak on behalf of the Order of Defense. You have heard tales about this man's service, his advocacy, and of his prowess. I, today I would speak of the man as a whole, for we know that this award and recognition, more than anything, is something that we see him already in holding as such. It is just now for all others who do not know this great gentle to say, this man is a peer, this man is kind, this man is valorous, and I am blessed to call him friend. He is a beautiful human being who serves, who gives, who fights, and advocates, and he knows, and we have had talks about, what it is to be a peer, but more importantly, understand, <coughs> like, you are worthy. And I see you as a peer to me, and everyone else will recognize that. The Order of Defense wholeheartedly <coughs> and unequivocally sees this man as a peer, and we are <coughs> glad to see him recognized as such. As it pleases your Royal Majesties, I am representing His Excellency, Viscount Beryl de Schubert, and Every word I am about to speak is <coughs> are his. <laughs> I can't even kick him out of court. <laughs> <laughs> but your majesties may do so by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings to your majesties, excellencies, and all others here to witness this grand event. I am Viscount Beryl de Gibert, 17th Prince of the Principality of the Outlands. Please pardon my absence as I have mundane business that kept me from attending. Also, please excuse good Master Adam for any grammatical errors or attempts at humor which may occur. <laughs> he is a wordsmith and I am not. Today is Oleg Schwinghammer's day. Laurels will tell of his artistic abilities. Pelicans will speak of his service to the society. And knights will speak of his martial prowess. I speak as a royal peer, and I will speak of his highest quality, his character. Two events from his long ago past come to mind. Two events which shape this young lord into the peer he is about to become. As a very young lad, young Red Bull Otterson, which was the name he went by before he was old enough to choose his own, was a shining example of courtesy and chivalry. During his formative years as a budding knight errant, he would travel the landscape of events he attended with his family and do what all young fighters do. He would challenge those who were better <laughs> and more skilled at swordplay 
than he was to fight with them. As I mentioned, he was a young lad between the ages of six and nine, and during those years, he would carry two swords with him. These weapons were never of equal quality. It may have been plain sticks, padded weapons, broomsticks, short, wrought iron bars, or even the occasional rattan weapon. To his courtesy, I speak of now as at no time ever the gentleman that he was even at that young age did he not present a weapon to his opponent so that they could fight. And once his opponent lay touch in the briefest and simplest of ways to that weapon, chivalry now being satisfied, <laughs> did the fury of the Red Bull catch and cleave and lay waste to the person holding that weapon. There was no escape. <laughs> was relentless then as he is now in his attack. Those were good days. As long as you knew how that game was played. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> and now I will tell you of the event which opened my eyes to the true quality of this young man. Again, during those formative years, there was a camping event being held in the Shire of Kalan. The Shire had a wonderful site, an oasis really, in the desert with grassy fields and ponds and shade trees. A beautiful place in truth. A young girl who was younger than Oleg at that time had wandered into the pond and was slowly making her way towards the deeper middle. He was the closest person to her and yelled for help, as he should have done in that situation. But then he did more. He slowly entered the pond until he had reached the girl and slowly walked her out until they were almost to the bank when the adults arrived. I witnessed this from afar with mine own eyes. I witnessed the true embodiment of chivalry performed by a lad too young to don armor and wield rep weaponry. And that is why today and every day since that event, I have felt that Oleg Schwinghaber, once called Red Bull Odison, would be worthy to join the circle of chivalry and stand alone on his acts of chivalry and outstanding character. Gentle yeah. Pierce, we thank you for your wise counsel. Bring forth lightning, the great sword of state of the outlet. Oleg, you have been deemed fit for this high estate by your peers. And have indicated your willingness to accept this honor from our hands. Do you now swear by all that you hold sacred, true, and holy? That you will honor and defend the crown and kingdom of the outlands. You will honor, defend, and protect all ladies and those weaker than yourself. That you will be courteous, honor your peers of the chivalry, of the laurel, of the pelican, and of the defense. That you will conduct yourself in all manners as we fit the people. <coughs> Drawing your sword only to just cause. <laughs> that you will enshrine in your heart the noble ideals of chivalry, the benefit of your own good name, and the greater glory of the Outlands. Then having sworn these solemn oaths, know that we, Bardolf and Sabiha, King and Queen of the Outlands, do dub you with our sword lightning, by all that you hold sacred, true, and holy. <coughs> Once for honor, twice for duty, and thrice for chivalry. Huzzah! Huzzah! Arise, Sir Oleg!
we just made a Knight of the Squire website. <laughs> <laughs> Accept this white belt, symbolizing the purity of your honor. Symbolizing the purity of your honor. The sign of the order of chivalry. The sign of the order of chivalry. <coughs> and of your knightly rank and station. I've been missing so much. I'm not a wordsmith. This chain is heavy, hurts, it's prickly, and it sort of represents the knight's belt. It's 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 a it's it carries weight. Except from our hands, this chain. Pass from night to night. For each knight is a link in the honor of our kingdom. It symbolizes your fealty to crown and kingdom. Take this chain. Hear your oaths and accept your fealty. And pledge to you that from this day forward you will be our liege man. That we will honor your order and defend your rights as a peer. And we will protect the trust that you have placed in us. Mighty with justice, tempered with mercy. Accept this chain, which shall symbolize your duty and your bond. <laughs> As a liege man in fealty, the crown of the Outlands. Never forget the burden of this chain. Never forget the burden of this chain. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a sword? Sorry, accept this sword. Which shall symbolize your prowess at arms. Remember well that the sword of the chivalry should be drawn only in defense of the realm. In defense of those weaker than yourself. Wear it with care. Wield it with mercy. Bring forth the spurs. In former times, Knights rode forth to met out justice in the name of the crown, except these spurs, which symbolize your devotion to the high ideals of chivalry and justice. Wear them honorably and proudly, and may they never be hacked off in shame or degradation. Sir Oleg, let this be the last blow you receive unanswered.
Our loyal subject, Oleg Schwinghammer, has demonstrated great chivalry and prowess upon the field of honor, rendering high and noble service to crown and kingdom in war and peace. And in peace. We do hereby prefer and create him to the rank and dignity of the Knight of the Society for Creative Anachronism. We know, know ye that we do hereby confirm and affirm these arms previously registered by the College of Arms by these letters patents, to wit, per chevron, throughout, for pure, ermine, or and or, in base, two warhammers, and pulpier cool, which Sir Oleg shall hold for his sole use, as we have commanded it to be described and depicted here. And with this whereof we affix our royal side this 27th day of May, in the 58th year of the society being 523 of the Common Era. Bardock, King, Sabiha, Queen, I, White Stag Principal Herald of the Outlands, do attest that the said arms have been duly registered with the College of Arms. Ethel, White Stag Principal Herald. The scroll is the work of His Lady, the Honorable Lady Dragoslava. <laughs> Go now and greet your peers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, For Sir Oleg, Huzzah! 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 Huzzah!